Bonjour, and welcome back to the farm. Um, getting a late start today. It's 2.30. That, I mean, the missus went to, uh, went to Marseille yesterday. Marseille? No. Metz. Metz. That's dirt. Uh, we went to Metz yesterday. You know, kind of hung out, had a good time. Came back a little bit late last night, so, you know, we... Figured I'd just, you know, take it easy, because... You know, the green wheat's still growing. Oh my gosh, the green wheat is still growing. Uh, the barley's in now, so we're going to, uh, first we're going to make an egg delivery. Ooh, we almost hit that. Uh, we're going to make an egg delivery because that's finances. I'm carrying 132 eggs. So, uh, yeah. Don't look at your PDA and drive, folks. It's a bad idea. You may die. Watch out, Bessie. Ooh, I kill my cow with a motorcycle. Probably kill me too, honestly. All right, so we're gonna drop this off. We do need more. We're going to have to take some more grass up to the sheep, which <laughs> uh, that's a funny endeavor, isn't it? Um, but uh, hopefully, hopefully. Um, hopefully we can do something to make that a little bit of an easier task. Uh, cause last time was just a joke, but we'll try anyway, I guess. Um, run a, r make a charge up the hill. I got the, uh, Gilder front loader. It's, it is working now. It's driving. It's still not tipping the way I want it to, but it does give me another tractor. And it does appear to be an all-wheel drive tractor. Um, though. Whether I got the front wheels to work properly, we don't know. We'll find out. Um, but it is, I mean, it's got the gnarlier tires than this guy. He's He's got slicks. I really, really should probably get some new tires for that one, but. Yeah, we're, well, we're not going to worry too much about that. We're going to take the fa, and we're going to go... Not very far. <laughs> I'm gonna go and start our barley collection. Because we, uh. We're pretty much in need of, um. Straw. That's the word. Straw. Words are not my forte today, apparently. We just. <laughs> we fit down this lane. Hmm. I'm thinking I can't get too much big of a combine without uh, getting a header trailer. Just an observation there. Okay. Is that mine? Huh. I wonder if that's my pigs. It looks suspiciously piggy. Uh, let's, um, let's get this guy. Yeah, it looks suspiciously pig-like over there. We, we might have to check that out. All right, we'll get this guy, get the grain trailer hooked up. A sad little grain trailer here. But it's okay. It's it works. It does its job. That's what matters. Okay. It just looks suspiciously pig-like over there, doesn't it? No, drive into the drive into the bushes there. I think we might run over there before we do the um, the harvest. And by run, I really do mean run. There's, there's no reason to drive over there. Hmm, yes, I found our pigs. I found the pigs, I found the pig. I got two big pig houses, it looks like. Yep. Yeah, I got two. I got twin piggy houses. Ah, yes, and each piggy house has... It's separate, uh, 
Okay, separate water connect. Oh, really? I have another one of these broken down tractors over here? Pig collection point. Oh, okay, yes. Okay. I have another broken down tractor over here. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, maybe that one will provide me the spare parts I need for the other one. Um, okay, so we know where our pigs are now. Hmm. Oh, look, a sword spot for grass and straw. That's going to come in handy later. Forage and forage mix. Hmm. Well, I wish I'd known about that earlier. <laughs> Would help to have explored better, huh? Nope. Gonna go ahead and run with that out. Just try just clip past that pole. There we go. Woo! Got it. Alright. So we're on the harvesting bandwagon. Yay! Now, if only that blasted green wheat would finish growing over there. It's still not done, and it's driving me bananas. It's in a big field. If it was the green wheat on this field, I wouldn't be so annoyed by it. Because this field is just... I don't want to say this field doesn't matter, but it matters less to me than that field. That makes any sense. It's like a little little parking spot for a harvester, huh? Whoa. Turn, 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 turn. Okay. <laughs> All right, whatever. I'll get that, that, that rogue wheat's there in a minute. Yeah, it was a bit of a hill and had the head down and Oh, well. Uh, oh, where are we going to sell this? Uh, barley. 480 at the farm shop. So it looks like the farm shop. Ooh, look, green wheat demand is in two days. Might take two days for the thing to grow. Um... Where is the farm shop? Is that the supermarket? Is that what they mean by that? It's a supermarket? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, good job, Dare. Good job, because that's going to be easy to get in there. Huh. All right. So farm shop. I presume that that's going to be the supermarket. That's my presumption right now. There we go. <laughs> Barely, but we did it. Okay, so this field is going to be a quick harvest. Relatively quick harvest. Not like how long it took me to harvest that field the first time. And then we'll collect the straw. We got take the straw and get the straw to the piggy lit. Not the pigs. <sighs> no. Well, though, the pigs could use straw for sure. Um, cows. That's what, I, that's what I was trying to say. Um, let's back this guy up. Go. Just trying to do around the edges here to try to give myself a little bit more working room. Because, really, I don't have a heck of a lot of working room in here. It's kind of pretty, isn't it? The mountains there in the background. Our little, our little islands, our little rugby pitch. It's all looking very nice here. All right, let's see if we can make this turn. Well, it's not too much, too hard of a turn, so. Should be able to make a nice, easy turn. Yeah, there we go. 
I'm not going to make a whole bunch of circles, not like I did the last time, because oh my gosh, that was such a pain in the butt to pick up. <laughs> Let's get this right here. That didn't exactly get it all. Alright. Got it. Got it. There we go. Now, how many trailer loads do you think it's going to take to clear off this field? Hmm. I don't know. Um, I think I need the shift tab to get to the booher. Based on what I just tabbed there. Um, Let's see, a trailer load is three emptyings of the combine. Basically, I got an up and back and a piece before I had to empty it. Hmm. I'm going to go with two and a half trailer loads. So I'm going with two and a half trailer loads. I did that by the way so I had like I could make a perfect trailer load instead of having a little bit extra sitting in the combine. See I think about these things sort of sometimes. Okay. Alright. Let's turn this puppy around. I don't know if it's the most efficient to go around or to do the turnarounds. I'm, I'm, I'm still sort of trying to figure out what is the most efficient way to harvest. You guys might have some ideas. I mean, obviously a bigger head would be more efficient, but you saw how narrow my lanes are here. Um, going too much above the fog is going to, it's going to be a little bit difficult. I could get the bigger head for the fog. But I'm not 100% sure I can make it down all the lanes with that bigger head or through all the gates even. So I gotta keep that in mind. Stop. Let the finish emptying out the tail. There we go. Back into the tree. Uh oh, we're up on a up on a ledge again. We started to go up on a ledge. I stopped it. It was smart. Go. Perfect. All right. So we're making good good capital on the cows, which I'm I'm really happy about. I do need to get a milk tanker just to provide milk for the baby cows. So that is on my purchase list, but I think what we're gonna do this episode, once we have, um, once I've finished this, is I'm going to buy, um, uh, once we find out how much we're gonna make on the, uh, oh, but I don't wanna drive on the crop. Okay, well, we can sort that, right? All right. Just wait until we're full here. That. Back straight up until that clears. And just go. Fadum Tish. Like that. Okay, this is going to be our load of barley that we're going to take to. The. We're not going to the inn. We know where the inn is. Uh, the farm store. Right. Which I think is the supermarket. Okay. Eight, nine, ding, ding, ding. We're done. Okay. Um, I'm thinking, okay, I'm, I'm going to revise my guesstimate. I'm going to say three and a piece loads of barley. 
Yeah, I'm going to go with three and a piece trailers of barley. So what I'll do is I'm going to sell this load. We'll kind of see what kind of cash we get. Then I'm going to come back when I'm done with this field. We'll see how much money we made. Um, I'll collect the straw off screen because really, do you really want to watch me do that? I don't think so. And then, um, mm, what was I going to say? Oh, we'll buy the uh, the thing we need. Warren, uh, okay. For a little bit. Empty. 4,500. That was, that was 2,000 and change. It wasn't too bad. All right, so I'm going to go. I'm going to finish harvesting this field. And then we'll be back and we'll, we'll make a couple purchases maybe. And, uh, and kind of talk about where we're going to go from there. All right, everybody. We'll be right back. All right, so I have finished that field. I didn't just finish that field. I figured, you know what, I'm not gonna make you guys sit here and deal with this. So I finished field 11 and then I flipped it over to canola because I figured why the heck not. Okay, so we have 18,000 after that. Hold on, we'll get there in a moment. And then here we are with the last load. Let's go ahead and unload this. Excellent. So we have $20,592. Excellent. Let's get this back to the farm. So I had the Gilder out. I'm going to try the Gilder out on the um, the Kid and Kane combo. Because it's a little bit bigger of a tractor and it does appear to have four-wheel drive. So uh, there you go. Green wheat still hasn't grown. I was talking to uh, Gray, by the way, the Gray Gamer. And... Um, he was telling me, yeah, that green wheat, that is slow stuff. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully, I'll be able to make use of the straw. His his issue with the map was he couldn't make use of the straw. So, eh, now I'm kind of nervous. I'm not going to be able to get rid of the straw. But hopefully, we'll find something. If, if basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab just like a little bit of straw. And, uh... Uh, just grab a, a, a bit of straw, try to use it. If I can't use it, I'll use to see if I can use the kid to chop it. If I can't do that, well, then we'll just cultivate it. All right, let's, um, in the gilder here, check one last little, not finances, statistics. All right, so cows have... Not enough grass. We, this is what, that's what I was coming over here for. It was grass. I need grass for the cows and the sheep. Good. All right. We hooked up. That is hooked up. Up there. Turn it to grass. Turn it on. And let's drive our big gilder. It's a bigger tractor overall, so... I think we'll be okay with this. Now... Um, I don't just want to use this thing to collect grass all the time. Because, I mean, while it's great going out here and collecting grass, this is going to become more of my chaffing field. And what I might end up doing, maybe, is getting a plow and we might put something like corn out here. Oop, hit the wrong button. Um, corn out here and, and um, use it to make uh, chaff out of it kind of what I'm thinking. I don't know because it is kind of marshy out here. Um, we, we've got the pond over there. We've got kind of a marshy area down there. Drainage isn't very good. So this this grass might be the best, so, you know, the best thing we can really hope for out here. Um, but uh, what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to buy to go into the, the small field that we made over there of grass is we're going to buy a profi hopper for a couple reasons. One, it lets me focus the cane and kid and it, I think cane, kid, and gilder combo because it's kind of working out. Um, allows me to focus that on um, chaff. 
Seven miles an hour isn't the greatest speed because that's what the Profi Hopper gets, but it it isn't terrible to drive up to the sheep. Okay. So I could drive up to the sheep if I really wanted to. I am going to try to pull this trailer up to the uh, to the sheeps um, with the gelder. Because I'm wondering if the gelder just might have the horsepower we need while we're... Uh, we're in the market for a new tractor. I would ask you guys what tractor to get, but here's the thing. Um, because of the, the new YouTube policy on all kinds of things and them basically screwing around with a whole bunch of channels, um, I have to record and upload this stuff way in advance to get clearance through YouTube's new system. So if I ask you what tractor to get, I won't be able to get a tractor for a long time. How long? Probably not till mid-February. So, I'm just going to buy tractors that I see that I think are going to work. Um, if I, if it's something like this field, this turning this field over into something else, uh, look on Twitter, basically. So here's how we're going to roll with this. If I have a question about what I should do next, if it's like, what should I put into field, eh, whatever, I'll tweet it out on Twitter. And I'm going to look for Twitter answers. I'm not, I know some of you guys, I know that my Twitter reflects onto my Facebook and some of you guys answer on Facebook, but here's the thing. Facebook's a pain in my butt too. <laughs> They're making things hard and um, to be all in technical, they could shut down my Facebook page anytime they want to. So Twitter is actually my preferred method of communication. That being said, you, I will look at Facebook messages, but no guarantee that I'm going to take them as, as quickly into account. But what I'll do is I'll tweet out something like, hey, I'm looking to plant field whatever. And then you guys can tweet back to me and tell me what I'm going to do now. Know that it might not be the very next episode because again, I'm well in advance. So, just uh, just know that I'm going to be looking for Twitter responses when I'm, uh, I need to get out to make these turns. Watch out, Bessie. Um, I'm, I'm going to be looking at Twitter answers to, to get what I'm going to do next on this farm or you know, what I'm going to buy next, things like that. Um, and Twitter really is a better, better medium, I think, for that. All right. Bessie is frozen there. Bessie? You okay there, Bessie? You, you okay? Hmm. Might need a vet for that one. <laughs> you might be a burger before long. Just just saying. Okay, make this turn here. Now the, the cane does still lift the um the front of the gilder, I do know that. But I think the gilder is pulling a little bit better. Um a little bit better. Not a heck of a lot better, but a little bit better. We need to get some more grass for the sheeps, I think. Um, but I'll do that. I'll, I'll park the gilder up, and we'll do that off screen. Because do you really want to watch me <laughs> watch me go around in circles with the gilder again? No, you probably don't. All right. Moa. Moa, 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 moa. Mower, 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 mower. Okay. $3,500 for a profi hopper. See, I'm thinking about it now. Not really 100% sure now. Uh, yeah, I think we can do it. Let's go ahead and buy that. All right, let's get our new profi Appa. Start her up. Okay. So we're going to take the profi Appa over to field nine where we will uh, proceed to Profi Hop. Again, I'll do that off screen also. 
seven miles an hour as slow as molasses on a cold winter's day, but um, I might drive this up to the sheep. I don't know. Probably will, honestly, drive this up to the sheep. No reason for you to hang around for that. Do I have a horn? Yep. Thank you, cows. Appreciate it. All right. You know what this Profi Hopper needs? Because it's got a, like a really nice seat with armrests and everything. It needs a cup holder. Yeah, that'd be good. A nice cup holder. Could, uh, could get our, our beverage of choice, our cold beverage of choice. Ooh, like right there. See on the left-hand side, there's no controls. There's controls there, but there's no con That would be the perfect spot for the cup holder. Oops, I'm going to drive right past where I need to go in. All right, cool. So we can uh, we can mow this grass, take the grass to the cows, the sheep, etc. Um, this is actually good because um, it saves me a little bit of time. <laughs> Not much, but it saves me a little bit of time and effort, I think. And um, what would be great is, and I will have to check if I can do this, and I'm going to check in a test, but if I can alt tip my grass and then come up with the gilder and load it into the trailer, oh, that would be like heaven, heavenly. I mean, that's like the ultimate, like, success right there. I don't think the gilder can lift tall enough, though. In fact, I'm almost positive it won't, it won't get tall, high enough up in the air to get into that game trailer. Hmm. Maybe we'll, we'll go shopping for a, uh, another trailer to handle that. Because that, that would be good. Because then I could just, like, mow this, dump it into a pile, and then come up with the gilder, pick it up, load it into the trailer, and then drive off. That actually sounds like a really smart idea. I'm glad I thought of it. Um, yeah. But in the meantime, we are going to have to do without. And, um... Driver, seven mile an hour, profi hopper. Woohoo! All right. Um, next time, hopefully, the green wheat will be ready because it apparently grows very, very slowly. Um, and I'm hoping it will be ready. We can take the green wheat off of the big field, sell it, make some good cash. <clears throat> um, I'm probably going to put. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll put, con no, I, I need straw. I need to always have a straw producer. So I'll probably put wheat on the field. Um, I'll test out oat. Ooh, wrong spot. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, we made it. Um, I'll, I'll probably put oat on the small field to start just because my concern is that oat is going to have a problem as well. So that's, I think, what I'm going to go with. We'll kind of make use of... Um, Bessie is still stuck. Grass is not accepted here. The grass is accepted right here. Hush up. Um, yeah. And I do need a milk trailer. I could probably buy a milk trailer. Let's look. Oops. Mods. Misc. Um. No, let's not. Let's not buy this milk trailer just yet. Let's wait. Um, it's needed for the cow breeding facility in order to get more cows, but let's wait on this just a bit. Make some money. We do have a loan we have to eventually pay off. Um, yeah. Anything over here we might want to buy? I might consider picking up greenhouses relatively soon. Um, good income. I'm making good manure off the cows. I can get water pretty pretty well. I think this might be something we look at pretty quickly. Alright. Oh my goodness. You actually took all of that grass. How much grass do the cows have now? Wow. That's a lot of grass there, cows. Alright. Well. Hmm. They should be okay for a few days, I hope. Um, we'll get our we'll get our after midnight bump in cash. I'm gonna go um, take some grass to the sheep and uh, put the take the gilder and, and silage up a bunch of 
or chop up a bunch of grass for silage. I try to do at least one load after each episode, if not two loads. Just trying to fill that thing up so that I can actually cover it, compact it and cover it. All right, so next time hopefully we're harvesting green wheat. Until then, this has been Dare Tabbers. I've been playing Farming Simulator 2013. We're here in the Burgundy region of France. At least that's what I'm saying today. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Until next time, happy farming.